Put in your face and tell me machine is hot. Boss me comfy, boss it till you don't have no head back. <sighs> Hello, my audio people around the world. I'm Paul. This is my studio, Warsaw so Poland, and my humble YouTube channel. Good to see you guys. Do you know which one is the most popular video on my channel to that very day? Yes, it's this one Smart EQ 3 by Sunnable Review. And today is the day when Smart EQ 4 is premiered. And I'm wondering, can it be even better? Can we call it? An auto EQ of all times of some kind? Well, knowing Sunnable, it's quite possible. So we'll check it out today. Like the channel, like the studio, like the vids? Think about subscribing right here, getting notified, liking this vid and commenting on it because I'm really looking forward to discussing on this one with you. Let's go. All is said, guys, and I mentioned SmartEQ3 also for a reason, because I created back then a simple yet messy and kind of bad arrangement so that we forced SmartEQ3 to show its potential, really, we, it had to deliver on this. And I copied, actually, this. I, I rendered SmartEQ3 version. I also rendered dry uh, thing with no mixing at all. I used only auto-EQ functions of smart eq3 and i will do the same now using smart eq4 on the very same arrangement so that we ha can compare whether it improved at all guys let's start with vocals this is the panel looks very much like smart eq3 i believe what's new um what's here <gasps> learning time Maximum is 60 seconds. Thank you, Sunnable. This is cool, but probably for this mix, eight seconds it's enough because still it's a kind of a simple loop. Linear face is there. Wow. Mid side is here. Linear face is here. Analyzer is on. Zoom is 100. Let's maybe make it larger. Okay, and let's learn. Wait in your face until my machine be stuck. Boss me comfy boss it till you don't have no head back. Me jump out yard to do if enough time for gap. Then me go back at your funeral, go get your dopey frass. Spit in your face, then kick over your cheap box. 45 clock, you lick a friend, them where I watch. A real bad man, pussy, make no to that. Stand up over your grave, I pray for Okay, so adaptive is what has been called, I think, dynamic before. Uh, adaptive is better because dynamic mixing... It's more kind of a manual process. Anyway, mm, so smoothing. Oh, smoothing. Cool for mastering purposes. Also, what I noticed is that we have way more profiles. These are instrument profiles, speech, blah, 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 synth, strings, and mixes. So it can work as kind of a Gulfos thing, kind of a mastering EQ, especially with this smoothing thing which is cool, width is the same, so this is the width of the spectrum, the amount of processing with the opposite as well. This is the midpoint and mode, track group or track plus group. Ha, so this is cool. It can work only in track mode, so focus on, on solely on this instance. It can work as track plus group mixing, or if you got the tone of your track manually and you want to adjust, assemble a group mixing, uh, Smart EQ 4 can help you with that. This is also cool. Let's make maybe a manual point. Mm, dynamic. There's dynamic function. With the ratio attack release and range, this is cool. We've got real dynamic mixing, so that's why it's called adaptive right now. And it reminds me a bit of TDR Nova uh, for the way it behaves and the way it's organized here. Cool. We've got dynamic mixing. Hmm. We've learned our vocals. Let's move to drums to discover more. became kind of exposed where the snare hits, but 
Let's give it a go. Let's leave it like this. What else is there, guys? I've got a plus here. <gasps> it's multi or it's dual band. Whoa, that's crazy. This is cool. So I can split the range so that it can work separately and I can process different amount for highs and lows and mids. For example, this is nice. I don't need it for now, but yeah, it gives you a palette, a range of new um, of new actions and new tweaks. Let's move to bass. Very cool. Very cool. And I do believe that the algos are very similar to Smart EQ3, as I can hear, but they are not identical. What if I open Smart EQ3 and 4 exactly to compare how they sound and the curve? Yes, the curve is different. You can see that, right? He, not he, it, Paul, not he, it took away a bit of 2K and a bit of mud at 350, which I really like. Uh, ah, I've got vocal high, maybe vocal low. Still looks like improved. So it's a good news. Not only more profiles, existing profiles have been improved. And this is what I also really like. And I like the new profile for vocals more as well, I believe. Let's go to the keys. These keys are most problematic because they go together with vocals. And I did it on purpose so that our auto AI tools really have to try hard to do something about it. Let's compare dry versus this because I can hear most improvement actually on keys. Definitely better defined, less problematic now, which I totally love so far. And um, uh, let's go to the group mixing stage because it's also there. We'll see whether anything changed there. So yes, drums are my first thing. Second thing, uh, let's add to the same group and bass and drums will be here. Oh, I can display instances here. And not only the instance I'm in, like the particular track, but I can choose the second, another track to be displayed. Am I right? Let's add keys or or maybe vocals. I forgot about vocals. Uh-huh, vocals are here. And I'm on the vocals track and I want to display bass. This is cool. This is nice. Oh. It's hovering, so... Oh, not only that I can display, I can edit adaptive smoothing with impact. Ha! This is what I call an improvement. So while being on a track, you don't have to close the EQ, you don't have to switch the track to mix the group and the instances on your current screen, on in your current view. This is really nice. This is what I call an improvement, guys. And we have our group prepared and let's listen. Okay, he can work deeper than, uh, not he, it can work, Paul, deeper than Smart EQ3, which is good because I can see the intention it's trying to, like the goal it's trying to achieve, it's intention. And if I were mixing myself, frankly, I would do it the same. I would dip the keys, I would slightly dip the mids of the drums to make additional room for vocals, and probably I would cut something from the bass, so leaving this at 100 impact should be perfectly nice. Yeah. And now let's go to this, let's say, mastering section and let's learn the whole thing. Yes. And now we have genres. So maybe reggae dub. 
We're lucky. Wait in your face and tell me machine breeze hot. Boss me comfy boss it till you don't have no head back. Me jump out, you have to do it enough time for gap. Then me go back at your feet. Um, okay. No. It is kind of dub, but maybe let's make it more like a pop thing. Wait in your face and tell me machine breeze hot. Boss me comfy boss it till you don't have no head back. Me wait in your face and tell me machine breeze hot. Boss me comfy boss it till you don't have no head back. Me jump out, you have to do it enough time for Cool. Now I'm ready to render this. Wait. All right, I recorded it. I kind of game matched it all. So we can really compare it now. Mm, guys, and I got also one more idea as this kind of mastering dynamic adaptive EQ is there. What if we throw another track on him like a ready master? What if we spoil this master a bit and ask SmartEQ4 to fix it for us? Give me a second. All right, that's what I got. I found a track and I used this kind of EQing. I know it's very bad. I took away the bass, the treble, and I made a random dip in mids, so it sounds like... Kind of so-so. It should have been mixed better, I'm thinking right now. So, hey, Smart EQ4, can you help me with that? Interesting. And I will stick to this modern pop. And I will compare against the dry signal. Wait, I have to turn it up, because do I hear right that Smart EQ version is even a bit better than the original? Let's listen again. It's better to spoil a master and ask Smart EQ for to fix it than to take the ready master. I, I'm actually blown away. I don't know what to say, but this thing really delivers. Like, it's serious from now on because this is really good. This is crazy. Um, let's listen to the previous thing as the final, but you know what? I can suppose that the results are in favor of Smart EQ4. Let's check on that. Yes, let's exclude dry, which is absolutely awful. Let's compare only Smart EQ3 and 4. The sound improved in version 4. Wait in your face and tell me machine breeze hot. Boss me comfy boss it till you don't have no head back. Me jump out, you have to do it enough time for gap. Then me go back to your funeral, go get your dopey frass. Spit in your face and kick over your cheap box. 45 pack, you lay cover them where I watch. A real bad man, boss, you make no other that. Stand up over your grave, I pray for your comeback one. Smarty Q3 left some mess in the mids, some lower mids, while Smarty Q4 took care to clean it all up there. I think it's not even gain match right now. I could even put it a bit louder, but still it sounds better like this. Uh, and the low end is meaty. The low end is well separated. It's articulated. It's there. It's not too bright. I was afraid that's going to be too bright. It's not. So yes, it is improved and it can help you mixing. What's cool that it made decisions that I would make myself while mixing, which is kind of concerning. But you know what? Let's sum the things up. <sighs> Did I ever tell you that we live in like really insane times? 
<laughs> because the tools we are being delivered, what we've just witnessed, witness is is insane. Like it would have not been possible three, five years ago, and now it's going to change the way we work completely one day. I'm sure about it. And if you have used Smart EQ 3 and thinking about upgrading, if you have never used any Auto EQ, Smart EQ 4 is for you because it takes you there if you need a quick premix and you have no time. The group mixing is seriously improved. Also, more curves for individual sources that are also improved. If you're not a pro, uh, but you're just looking for improving the tone of your stuff, also Smart EQ 4 takes you there absolutely. And maybe it's the very first time when Sunnable people and Sunnable AI as well make me not only fascinated, but kind of afraid. Because if it all develops like this, there will be times I'm gonna be unemployed somehow, or I'm just gonna be a prompt engineer or a supervisor for a really powerful AI delivered by Soundable, for example, that's gonna change really seriously everything. So there is kind of a fascination and fear. I hope this fear never wins actually, because my passion to music never dies, so <laughs> come on. But guys, yeah, there is something like deeply deeply fascinating and uncanny <laughs> about all this that's happening. And anyway, I totally do recommend you Smart EQ 4. Maybe Smart EQ 5 is that good that I will never recommend it to you. We'll see. But for now, guys, take care. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.